new sunscreen day. <laughs> this came out of the Sephora 2023 Sun Kit. The Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA and 3 pluses. This is a chemical sunscreen that I've never tried before. It is white. It has a citrus, citrusy scent. Ooh, I have no idea if this is supposed to be. I have no idea if this is gonna be glowy. It feels like it might be glowy. Or if it's supposed to be a natural finish, I don't know. I know nothing about the sunscreen. When I wrap up with my final thoughts, I will tell you all the details at the end of this video. Now it's starting to smell like a leaf. Like it just went outside in the forest, picked a leaf off a tree and smelled it. <laughs> That's what this smells like to me. It's very moisturizing. They weren't kidding. The moisture on here is, is real. Okay, let me wrap this in. I'm not gonna put it on my eyes because it has a fragrance in it. And sometimes that can be irritating to my eyeballs. So I will put a different sunscreen around my eye area. All right, well, I'm gonna finish putting this on the back of my neck and I will check back in with you in 10 minutes and we'll see, about 10, 15 minutes, we'll see if it dries down and what the finish looks like right now. Hmm. Right now, it looks like it might turn out to be a natural, natural leaning glowy finish, so I'm back. Oops, I <laughs> started putting foundation on. I realized I hadn't told you it's dried down after 10 minutes and it is a glowy finish. So I'm gonna finish putting on my, on my foundation and my makeup here and then I'll be back for a two hour check-in. <laughs> okay, time got away from me and this is a four hour check-in. <laughs> So I definitely need to reapply sunscreen. Um, the Murad sits great. It doesn't change, it did not change the finish of my foundation. It, my face doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It feels great under makeup. I, you, I had my doubts because it was glowy <laughs> when I first applied it, but hmm, I think I'm gonna enjoy wearing this over the next couple of days. So the Murad is doing fantastic under foundation. It's been about an hour and a half since I put it on. Look at it, it's so, it doesn't look too shiny or anything under my foundation, I don't think. I think it looks good. I'm done with the bottle. It lasted me four uses on my face and then some, then some on my arms. <laughs> This is the Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA and 3 pluses, which is high protection. Not the highest though, but high protection. And this is an all chemical sunscreen. It has 3% avobenzone, 6.5% homosalate, 7.5% octanoxate, 5% octosalate, and 2% oxybenzone. It has tons of antioxidants and vitamin C in it. I found this to be moisturizing, glowy, and smells like citrus. Smells like, like a flowery orange pill. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Was this my favorite sunscreen ever? Eh. <laughs> eh. I don't think this one is for me. Okay, I just looked up the price because this is the little sample size that came in the Sephora Sun Kit this year. The full price, are you ready for this, is $68. How many fluid ounces is the full price? Oh, no, I just like, for 1.7 fluid ounces, this is $68, no, no. <laughs> I don't recommend that one. That's too much for what it is. No, you can find cheaper sunscreens that are SPF 50 and still moisturizing if you want that. No, pass on that one. I'm sorry, Murad. I, I, can't, I cannot recommend that on this channel. $68? No, no, it wasn't that good. What are people saying on Sephora? It has 840 reviews. 
All right, this one said burn my eyes and broke me out, never using again. So I did not put it around my eye area because one, my eyes are sensitive to fragrance and two, most of the time they're sensitive to chemical UV filters, <laughs> which that has both. Oh, this person says run, it runs, you should run. <laughs> No, I got this in the 2023 sun safety kit. Used it one time and will not use it on my face in the future. Gives my face an oily texture and not in a good serum way. Ran right into my eyes, irritating them. Somebody else loved it. They used it on vacation as a moisturizer and will buy it again. But for $68, you can find a cheaper sunscreen that will that will run into your eyes and do all the same things. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I just will not be using that one, but it might be the perfect one for you and you might be ready to splurge $68 or wait for a Sephora 20% off sale. 